It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Ogono Art Family. Today's video, we're going to be speaking about getting to know who you are as a person. And so, when you, when we're getting to know ourselves, it's uh, it's an ongoing thing. It's a it's like uh, getting to know drawing more, or you know, studying drawing. Our evolution ends until we die. You know, we keep on improving. Likewise, to getting to know ourselves, we always you know, improve on getting to know who we are as people. We always uncover these layers that we didn't, that we never knew about ourselves before. And the more we can uncover who we are, we can understand our originality and, you know, our creativity, our unique place. And so, and so in this human experience, we've collected a lot of trauma and this trauma can be formed as a you know a shape of shaped into you know anxiety and so when we go throughout our everyday lives for example let's say someone has you know social anxiety uh, and they can't act like their real their their real selves so they become shy and whatnot or they, they become mute and so when you take them into a more comfortable environment to or an environment where they you know they're more comfortable around people that's when they start to become their true authentic self and so i know from the past i was a selective mute as a uh, at a young age and so what a selective mute is is a person with uh, an anxiety or anxiety disorder which you know they, you can't they can't normally be capable of speech when they're speaking at in specific situations and these specific situations include, you know, strangers or, you know, just any public places that you're not, you know, familiar with, you know, and that that's where the selective mutism or selective mute would uh, start to kick in. And so when I would start to be around uh, certain people or, you know, just be around, you know, alone with me, that's the that's where I would start to become the true, the real, authentic Marcus the anxiety or the shyness that i had towards other people was not the real me and so that real me started to uncover alone and so an analogy to to this is uh a vase you have a very dirty vase with a bunch of dust and the more you're just cleaning the dust from that vase you start to uncover the true the true self of the vase and when we label ourselves as the anxiety being a part of us and this is who we are and we're not nothing more then we stop our growth likewise if you're learning a skill if you if you feel that you know everything within you know drawing or a certain skill you just stop growing and if we are to truly succeed in this game of life we have to know who we are you know and overcome these traumatic experiences we may have had you know during childhood and you know just learn how to work with them instead of working against them and everyone's traumas are different and so start to learn and know who you are by you know learning about self-improvement learning about psychology to help better yourself as a as a person you know become the greatest version of who you are meant to be and this is part of the reason why i, I enjoy children so much because they at such a young age you're you're free you know you're they're just adventurous you know they're the easy going there's not much fear installed into them that would be the video thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed caress that subscribe button and hit the notification uh, bell as well and tell me what you feel about this video in the comment section down below so peace